Letitia James. She has to be the star. So that's what the video is going to be about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Man, Letitia James came out of the gates swinging. And so, um, yeah, she's going after them. It's uh, all civil. It's not criminal, but it certainly has led to civil. Um, uh, she's passed that on to the federal authorities and to uh, the uh, other court in New York. So we'll see what happens. Letitia James, is this going to be it? Are you going to bring that family down? We'll talk about Don, Ivanka, Eric, uh, Don, the big guy, and just Letitia James in general. Okay, so this will be Letitia James. Let's see what the cards can tell us about Letitia. She is on the warpath. She's disgusted, she's, she said. And um, she's not having any more of this uh, Trump uh, excuses stuff. Uh, so, yeah, she's going after the whole family. I feel a tickle in my throat. I'm going to have to get some water here. I hope I don't have a coughing fit. I always do because what you don't know is that I don't really say much during the day until I make these videos. <coughs> so, Letitia James, what can the cards tell us? And what do we want to know? <coughs> the first thing, I think, is... She a good person. Let's let's try that. But before, before we do that, so just a moment of meditation. Yeah, let's see if the cards can give us a read on whether she's, you know, uh, an honorable person. I mean, that's the place to start. Um, so, let's see what kind of cards we get for Letitia James, just in general. Is she honorable? One. Two. Three. Just to get a base point, you know, a place to start with her. Letitia James... Honorable or not? First card. Okay, so wands. This is the Ten of Wands, and this is a heavy bundle to carry. Uh, wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And the Ten of Wands, uh, it doesn't tell us whether she's honorable or not, but it does tell me that she's carrying a heavy load. That's interesting. Um, this uh, figure in this card does look uh, sort of benevolent and, uh, and is really hanging on to all those plans, all those issues, really with all she's got. She's got both arms fully wrapped around that. She also, also kind of seems to have fairy wings if you look at the back here. I wouldn't say angelic wings, but is she an honorable person? The next card for that question is the Three of Cups. Okay, the Three of Cups, now she full-on has angel wings, okay? Cups are uh, compassion, emotion, and the Three of Cups are usually celebrations. And so here we have this angelic figure in full celebration. Wow, just to be covered in uh, whatever's uh, compassion or emotion is in this cup right here. So is she an honorable person? She's got a lot to carry, and in the second card up, she's actually she actually has wings, angelic wings. Last card for whether she's an honorable person. And look at this. 
This is the star card. This is a big yes card. And uh, the star card is a major arcana. And so this shows us that this is the... And now she's full on, wings outstretched, really basking in the light of being that star. I would say, yeah, she's an honorable person. It just uh, says it right there. Okay, so we'll go with that assumption. Now, let's see. We She's... Uh, open this investigation let's ask simply is her goal for justice or is her goal to destroy Trump because that makes a difference I mean not to say that you couldn't have a goal of destroying Trump knowing that it was justice but I think your intention uh, matters so I think it matters whether she's been able to separate herself from those two things. Is she going after Trump or is she going after justice? Three cards on this one. Okay, so Trump or justice? Trump or justice? Those can be two very separate uh, goals, actually. Is she going after Trump or is she going after justice? I think that's what we need to know. First card. Uh, wow, it's interesting that um, I'm asking about whether she's going for Trump or justice, and the first card up is justice. And look how justice is suffering here, okay? She's got a grimace on her face. Justice is blind. It's whole, being, not so much it's holding up truth, justice, rules, and law, but it's being held up by those things, Okay. Uh, we have some ominous figures in the side here. We have a skeleton with a um, hourglass, so time is an issue. And we have another skeleton over here with a book of knowledge. So could this be a book of law? And then the, the scales uh, of justice are equally balanced in this woman's hands right now. And this woman even has kind of a darker uh, complexion. So, um, yeah, I would say clearly that she's going for justice. But let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Next card up is this Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Wands is being really, really embattled. And again, we come back to this figure in the center here, has sprouted wings and surrounded by these difficult actions, these difficult plans, these difficult movements, okay? One is clearly in front of this person. Uh, it's at this person's disposal. But all these other plans are kind of lined up. So the Nine of Wands is being embattled. And then the last card as to whether she's after justice or Trump. Then we've got the High Priestess. Beautiful cards to get in this reading. Again, Major Arcana. Funny that Major Arcana comes up as the last card in the first reading, and Major comes up as the last card in this little three-card draw, too. So High Priestess is all-knowing, having all the knowledge, all the wisdom that you need. And look, this woman is cradling a skeleton's head in its arms. Uh, the High Priestess knows uh, what's at stake, and how to achieve her goals. Wow. So, yeah, she's going for justice, and uh, it looks pretty serious. So now, let's see if she's going to be successful, if she's chosen the right path. Um, let's do something quick here, though, first. I just want to do a, three cards on each of the kids, the grown kids, uh, uh, in age order. Donnie first. Uh, Ivanka second and uh, Eric third. So just whatever the cards can say to us uh, in, regarding Letitia James's uh, investigations here. And uh, the first one we're going to ask for is Donnie. Three cards. One. Two cards came out at the same time. I'm going to take them both. I don't usually do that, but I'm going to take them both. Three cards for Donnie. Okay, just no question, just what can the cards tell us? about Donnie. First card up is we've got the Eight of Coins practicing your craft. Coins are value and the Eight of Coins is practicing your craft until you get it right. He's been at uh, his father's knee. He is the original and the uh, actual apprentice. Next card for Donnie is this Five of Wands and uh, Wands our uh, actions, plans, forward movement. The Five of Wands is typically like pointless arguing, pointless fighting, conflict uh, to no good end, okay? And we can see here with these 
This five of wands, whoever this is holding these up, they're, it's littered in a, in a, in a yard of bones. Okay. Skeletons, uh, to be revealed, kind of. So Donnie, what can you tell us about him is that he's honing his craft. There's, uh, pointless, um, uh, discourse, uh, amidst a bunch of hidden bones and then they are revealed, uh, skeletons. And then the last card for Donnie, with this Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, Cups are compassion, emotion, and the Eight of Cups is having to leave something of emotional, uh, compassionate value behind, and you turn your back on it, and you walk off. Wow. Looks like he's probably going to have to leave his dad behind. So, Ivanka, what can the cards in three cards tell us quickly about Ivanka? Okay, three cards for Ivanka. Three cards for Ivanka. No question, but that uh, reading on Donnie seemed to be pretty uh, interesting. Three cards for Ivanka. Again, two cards came out together. I'm just going to take it. One card. So three cards for Ivanka. All right, first card. Let's see what sort of a message comes through in this regard with Letitia for uh, Ivanka. Okay, so the first uh, card up for Ivanka regarding this Letitia James uh, situation is the Ace of uh, Coins, okay? So coins are value. The Ace is a great big um, offer of value. I think uh, Ivanka in this situation with Letitia is very, very important. She might be the thing that helps to break Donald, perhaps. The next one up here is Temperance for Ivana, Ivanka. You know, her name is actually not Ivanka. Her name is Ivana Marie. And Ivanka with the K is just the, um, that, uh, Slavian kind of, uh, slang for the female children. They kind of get that sort of a, especially when they're named after their, their mother. So her mother's Ivana. So she's little Ivanka. But anyway. First we get here is, is what about Ivanka? She's important. Okay, Ace of Coins. The second card, uh, card we get here, we said in regards to Letitia James, Temperance. Okay, this is what's going to be required for Ivanka. And look what's in the bottom of this this uh, card right here. Look at all these books right here, down in the bottom here. These are like accounting books, could we say? Uh, some sort of books of of. Uh, importance. They have some stature or they wouldn't be there. And this uh, temperance figure is right here uh, trying to get this just right. And then the last chord for Ivanka, last card for Ivanka is this page of uh, wands. Again, wands are actions, uh, plans, uh, moving forward. And the page is, you know, the very least um, important of the royal court figures. This page has sprouted rings, wings, but they almost seem to be on fire, kind of. Um, so she's important, but she's not imp as important as uh, the top dog, I guess. So that tells us about Ivanka. Eric. Three cards for Eric. And then we'll do uh, something larger on Letitia. So three cards for Eric Trump, the third child. Three cards just to kind of give us into the zone of Eric. Three cards. Okay. One, two, three. <clears throat> three cards for Eric regarding this Letitia James issue. First card we get is the King of what? It's a king has to be swords because you can't have a king of scales. So it's a king of swords. Eric, truth, justice, rules, and law. Truth, justice, rules, law. Eric, the king. Interesting. Don't know what to make of it. Let's see what the next card says. Okay. Uh, for Eric, we get the five of cups. Okay, here's the five cups down here. This person, look at this. The mansion is up on the hill. This person is just devastated in this little dry riverbed just crying over all the compassionate, emotional situations that are lost, I suppose, have spilled out. And uh, there's a couple left here. So Eric could be the one that maybe has a little something left um, in his tank, emotionally speaking. 
the last card for Eric is the eight. Oh, okay. So yeah, this makes sense because he is kind of the number two behind Donnie as far as the business is concerned, the Trump business, because Ivanka is off on her own. So the eight of uh, Pentacles, uh, practicing your craft, that's the apprentice. So it's interesting how this comes out. So uh, we want, we ask about Eric. What do we get? We get, okay, he's the ace of Okay, there's some kind of importance there. Truth, justice, rules of law. Maybe he's the one that will hold some of that, more so than the others. Next card up him with this five of cups is just really grieving over uh, some emotional loss. And the final card it just, uh, I think, reinforces that, yeah, he was also that apprentice. Letitia James. What... We're going to do at least a dyadic cross on Letitia James. That's six cards. So Letitia James. Let's get these cards kind of cleared out. And, and refocused for Letitia James. Letitia James, what can the cards let us know? So we've already determined that you are an honorable person. you got the strength behind you, Letitia. So, and uh, you're going for justice, not just <clears throat> the Donald. Tisha James, six cards. Let me get another drink of water. <clears throat> six cards. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, Letitia James. You're honorable. You're going for justice. The kids are all wrapped up in themselves. Letitia James, six cards. Okay, the first one we get is the six of coins. The six of coins. For some reason, the, uh, the uh, divination for this card escaped me, but it may come to me as I talk about it for a minute. So the six of coins is, uh, coins of course are a uh, value, um, can be money. Uh, the six of coins, I, I, it just completely escapes me. I'm going to look it up so that I don't waste time uh, trying to beat around the bush. Six of pentacles, uh, receiving, sharing. Oh yeah. So again, this is kind of distributing uh, that money. Uh, uh, you know, how is it going to be uh, given? Letitia James. So she's in the process of kind of working with all the value that uh, she's dealing with. The uh, next one, the challenge to that for Letitia is this Five of Swords. This is an abuse of power. Okay, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules of Law. The Five of Swords very clearly. And so we're dealing with an abuse of power here, obviously, in the Trump Organization. The basis of this, then, with the Seven of... The whole basis of this for the Seven of Swords is now um, theft and betrayal. So weighing the value, it has to do with abuse. Theft and betrayal is the basis of the whole thing. The uh, past of this card is the World card. So what's significant about this is that this is an end and another beginning. And look, the world card. So the, I think the world of Trump organization, that really profitable swirl of activity that's lasted all these years, all that is in the past. Letitia James, the number 10 card, this comes up again. Remember, we pulled it to begin with that bundle of issues, that bundle of problems. That's what's in the sky of this reading. That is what has to be dealt with. And the likely outcome for Letitia James then is this, what number is is this one two three four five i have got to try to make sure i agree with this number that's in, the, in on this card here it's a five of cups it's a six of cups yep that's a six okay so look at me right here so you've got a six it's, it comes like this and it makes a six Six of Cups, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the uh, this compassionate, emotional card is about remembering how things were in the past. So the final outcome for this, for Letitia, so far, we have to pull more cards, is um, wanting things to be the way they were in the past. Maybe maybe wanting things to be in a emotionally good place. 
And uh, I think she just feels really uh, betrayed by the abuse that she's uncovered with this. So the uh, very self of that question about Letitia James uh, in this now full Celtic cross is going to be, ah, this is the, is this the magician card? No, this is an ace of cups. Ace of cups. There's the one and there's the cup. So the Ace of Cups, Cups are compassionate, emotional. This angel, this Ace of Cups is really suffering over the issues that are in this. This looks like someone who's looking into this, uh, kind of uh, reaching into her soul, and uh, and it's that important. The next card, the environment that that's in, is in this Queen of Coin. So the environment that, that, that looking into this emotional situation is, is all of the value that it that it represents wow pretty on target the next card for Letitia the knight of swords oh yeah she is and look this is even a female looking figure on this knight truth justice rules law the knight is the fighter for that yeah she is in this fight and then the uh, last card the likely outcome for Letitia James in this reading the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, no, I don't like to see this because this tells me that it's kind of a crapshoot. You know, almost anything can happen in the Wheel of Fortune. I always like to think, however, that the wheel is turning in a positive direction. And uh, in this one, if you look at it closely, you see that we've got a skeleton head here, uh, right here. See the eyes and the uh, nose of the skeleton? And then the, the top of the skull is cut off. And inside here is this person uh, dealing the deck on this wheel of fortune. So in the head, she's in the head of this evil uh, trying to work it out. Let's read the whole thing over and let's see. The question is, Letitia James, what can the cards tell us after they've already told us that you are honorable and seeking justice? This We start off with this uh, first card here that was the um, Six of Pentacles, really distributing that value where it needs to be, challenged by what? By this Five of Swords and Abuse of Power, and underlined, the whole thing underlined by the Seven of Swords, which is theft and betrayal. And in the past, we have the World card, a definite end of something that was magnificent, it looks like, but it's over. That, that, that Wonder World is done. And then in the sky of this, with this Ten of, of Wands, is that all of this is a heavy, heavy bundle. But this angel has got it under control. And then the likely outcome for the first part of this, with this uh, Six of Cups, is wanting things to get back to an emotionally safe place where maybe the, the, we thought we used to be. And then the very self of that question puts Letitia James over here with this Ace of of emotions really just wrenchingly stunning uh, over what she can do in the environment of this queen of pentacles so a very a very uh, valuable uh, environment is what this is in that whole Trump organization and then up in the hopes and the fears is the knight of swords and this is Letitia as the fighter for truth and then uh, the likely outcome of the whole thing is it's even still a crapshoot. This wheel of fortune, she's in the head of the subject, but it really could go either way, it looks like. Don't like hearing that. There you go. Can't say more. That's what the cards say. So let me know what you think. Put a comment uh, in the comments and uh, let me know what you want me to read on because I'll read on that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so these are Templar Tarot The Journey cool cards. They've got an interesting packaging, but I'm not a big fan of it, and you'll know why in a second. So this is a sleeve that covers the main box, and I guess it's meant to look like a book. This looks like the spine of the book, maybe the front of the book, maybe the back of the book, and maybe the pages inside of the book. Beautiful and in decent quality, but when it's new and you're trying to get this apart, you see I've left it a little open so I can get in here. When it's pressed together, it is hard to get this apart because this is so packed with good stuff. Uh, and it's a shame that the good stuff that's in there uh, has that stigma of being in this box. You can see here that I actually tore the box when I first opened it when it was new trying to get stuff out. Okay, now the, the um, booklet. It's a beautiful booklet. Uh, got lots of good ideas for divination in here. It's got some good depictions of the cards in here. And um, so it's a great book. It's a lot of good information inside. When you open it up, the first few pages, you can see they've not spared any expense to make this seem like quality. So if you gave this as a gift, I mean, this really redeems it from being hard to get out of the box. The plus that you get with this 
are these extra cards uh, right here. Uh, and what I mean by extra cards, this is like a gift. The first thing you have is a um, gift card. I mean, you can fill this out and send it to someone as a, as a gift card for some special occasion. So nice that you get that. Then you have actually uh, postcards. Uh, here. So you got a place for a stamp, you can fill it in, and then the cards, this is a good example of the art that's inside that box. So this is the kind of thing you're going to see when you get into the box. And these may even be some of the depictions inside there on the cards. I haven't double double checked to make sure, but so you get these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven postcards and one gift card. So all nice. Now uh, you're going to see what's actually inside the uh, cards themselves. Where can I put this? Let's put it right there. So the other problem I have with this deck is you have to dump the cards out to get them. And I never liked that. How hard would it have been to include a string that kind of pulls them up? It wouldn't have been hard at all. But the first thing I'm going to show you is that you've got the extra cards. So there's the, right here in this box at this very moment is the full set of tarot cards. Major Arcana, the pip cards, everything. So you can do a reading right now with those cards. These are extra. So these are called uh, the journey, and included in these cards are, you know, a few of these cards are for birth, a few of these cards are for life, and a few of these cards are for death. And so, th and this is not specifically in this order, I'm just making an example here. So these cards are called the journey of birth, life, and death. And then how do they look, actually? Well, they're beautiful. And so you could use these as oracle cards, you could replace the major arcana, take the major arcana out and put these cards in. You'd have a couple of extra cards, though, because there's 23 of these. Um, but you can see that they're beautiful cards. They've got interesting um, uh, titles on them for divination. And so there you go. So yeah, how you would use these cards is completely up to you. You can even just mix them in with the regular tarot deck and just have these extra uh, cards that you, that you use. Okay, now the regular tarot cards. So here they are. They've got a good uh, quality, a nice weight to them. They're beautiful cards. These are still new, so they're kind of sticking together. You know how they do before you get a lot of air between the cards. But the uh, thing about these, and they use the very clear Rider Waite um, iconography, uh, of course, in the style of uh, Templar uh, art. And you can see here, like, this is the One of Pentacles, very clear. Uh, this is the Ten of Cups, very clear. This is the King of uh, Wands. So they're easy. These are the Lovers. It says it right here, and this is number six of the Major Arcana. So they're very easy to use uh, for divination. So I like the cards. I haven't really used them yet. I'll probably use them for the first time um, maybe today or tomorrow. On Oh, I don't want to mix these up. And, um, and see how all that goes. So here we go. You've got them. You saw them here first. The Templar Tarot, The Journey. So very interesting. And uh, I think they're great. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come, so ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.